Welcome back to 1980. Beautiful white old tiles that have been here for 30 years. Peter put in the laminate flooring that we have in right now, and it's terrible, and it's very dated. Again, we have the old banisters. No. Staircase can be replaced. Yes, but I want to find a place that has everything done. This is just too closed in. It's like, it's very structured. You can make it the room of your choosing. Just get Hillary to design it for you. This is wasted space. We don't need all this space. Uh, this is probably the biggest eyesore for me in the whole house. The kitchen is outdated, but the kitchen has a ton of potential. Think of the memories we've created here. I agree. Imagine Those walking back memories. into this kitchen and it's everything you want. And then you have the memories and the new kitchen. OK, so what's my budget? $150,000. Hello. Hello. Are you ready? Yeah. Steady? Go. Yes. Go. <laughs> this just doesn't look like our house. It's not supposed to look like our house. I know. Don't That's the reaction I wanted. <laughs> okay, I'll pull it together now. Wow. You don't have to pull it together. Beautiful. It's stunning. We're going to continue on in. And then here is <laughs> the dream this. kitchen. Come on in. <laughs> so we had a wall right here. We did. I, I'm just trying to take it all in. There like, is a lot to oh, take in. Take gosh. it all in at once. So first of all, I want you to see the connection with your living room. This is stunning. Of course, the big thing here was the window. Remember that? Yes. And I'm not going to keep throwing that in your face, <laughs> but I might. So we have light coming from the front, transferring to light from the back. Oh, nice. And this is why I knew it didn't matter. You called but you it. Didn't, you didn't know. It's I OK. Did. I mean, the storage is insane here. So you've got storage within this island. Oh, Look at these countertops. The countertops the are stunning. beautiful and very low maintenance. Wow. Oh, this is gorgeous. And again, I want you to see how the connection is now. It, it just again, flows beautifully. It, that's exactly what this is for. It's about visual flow mm -hmm. and then actual yes. physical flow. All right, so decision made? Mm -hmm. Yes. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to love it. Yes. This is the Holston House. Oh, the house is really cute. It looks a little small from the front, though. It's a petite house. Well, I'll tell you how big it is. It's three bedrooms, two baths. It's 2,000 square feet, built in 1958 for Shorty and Jerry Holston, and it's listed for $115,000. Let's go look at it. All right. Well, this house has a little formal living room. It does. In the front. I love these floors. Yeah. yeah. They look original. This wall is... I guess like paneling? This would have been, you know, an unpainted knotty pine finish. And then somebody at some point has painted it and then did an antique finish on it. Which was very popular in the early 2000s. Check out this huge kitchen. It's a pretty classic 60s layout. This obstructs the view for sure. It was the thing in the 60s yeah. when they built houses. Let's build cabinets that will block your view of the room. This is the kitchen the house has. And I think to make it bigger, if we lost this door in this corner here, since there's already access to that hall from the formal living room, and then you would have your oven where it is now, but the cabinetry would continue around that corner and wrap this wall. You would delete this little peninsula, delete the hang down. If we shifted this cased opening that direction, and it was all a big open bar where you can sit on the den side. So it would be like, open into the living space yes. more. Yes. Okay, I like that. So we're gonna start demo today at Marissa's house and the kitchen is the big thing. Everything's going, except the countertops. I mean, we're not gonna use them in here. Marissa wants to keep the countertops in case she uses them for a project. Are we even guaranteed that these are gonna not break when we... No, we're not, because they're thin. So thin. thin, yeah. Okay, we're experiencing the last moments of this cabinet's life. The midriff, for those who don't want to see the faces of the people they're talking to, just the middle. I like a midriff. I look good and <laughs> <Let shirt. it. laughs> showing my midriff. This is my best part. Let's do this. And it's not going to be a super quick demo, I really don't think. Ah, shut up. 
<laughs> we are on the wrong sides. This is like we are. We are in a bind. Welcome to the Landon House. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! It looks so good. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, oh! I wow. love it. Wow. Oh wow. It's so cute. It yeah. is so cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> this looks so different and so great, though. It is so open. And there's plenty of space for everybody. Yep. I yep. love that. I don't even feel like I'm in the same house, though. No, not it at all. It was so dark. It was closed off with the wall that hangs in your face. And then the midriff. So much storage. It's super bright and clean and fresh. The perfect place for entertainment. I love the the uppers white and the lowers color. Yeah, love that. Okay, I want you to focus on the ground first. How amazing! I know they look the so good. Look just like you wanted, right up the steps, and then we're wrapped around there. But I got the deck done upstairs, all the handrails on, we're safe now. We're gonna start spraying the outside. But we gotta focus inside, go. So good, they're peach. So let's go in the living room. It's giant, right? I love the paneling. I wanted this paneling out here just to kind of elevate this room. It feels very sophisticated. But I'm not gonna go formal on the furniture, so that way it feels still welcoming and cozy yeah. and you can sit and relax. So we bought the house for 225,000. We were hoping to have under 500,000 all in, but we are about $200,000 over what we wanted to spend. Yeah, and now I have no money left to put any furniture in this house. Therefore, I think you're gonna have to make a lot of furniture because that's our only hope. Hello! Hello. Welcome to the welcome in! <laughs> it looks so good. Okay, stop, we gotta okay, go take okay, it in okay. Yes, come on out. Let's go out and take the whole oh my view goodness. in. Now, you never got to see this before, this, Carrie. No. But imagine a rundown, dilapidated house. Oh, Isn't wow. Isn't this a fun little this walkway with the brick pavers? I love it. The column actually collapsed at one point. So we got four brand new steel columns. Rebuilt the entire porch. New siding, new roof, new handrail. You helped with the handrail, Matt. Yeah, right? we've. And then actually where all of these French doors are, those used to be windows. So we added the French that. doors, added the shutters. Oh my goodness. The gas lantern, so it's that quintessential southern home so with the big charming. front porch. It is beautiful. <laughs> yes. It is beautiful. All right, should we go in? Yeah. I let's go, let's that. go. Come on. Okay. Okay. Come on in. Oh my goodness. So here's our little no. sign in area. You guys can be can sign in. Our I'll first sign in. signatures. Wow. Oh wow. <gasps> this is amazing. Look at those walls. Oh my goodness. Did you make this, Dave? I did. <gasps> oh yeah, my goodness. It's a theme in the house. Dave basically made everything. The day that Matt decided not to invest was the day that I started building furniture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we added all the trim to the wall, so it gives it some texture and architectural detail and makes it feel a little more sophisticated. This week is the kitchen challenge, and Drew never beats me in the kitchen. I bought this house for $1.25 million and gave myself a reno budget of $500,000 to create a completely eco-friendly high-tech house. Even though I lost the living room challenge, I did break even, so I'll try to stay on budget again, but this time with a win. I'll start by knocking down the wall to the living room as well as the laundry and bathroom walls to maximize the space. Then I'll add a wall back to separate the space from a room that I'll be renovating later in the competition. We're a couple of weeks in and there is still a lot left to do. After scaling back the extension by a few feet, I need to make sure everything still fits properly. There's no point in building a huge, beautiful kitchen if the design plan doesn't work anymore. Isn't it nice to have a gigantic walking path in all directions? It does. The circulation is needed. This is a game changer for anybody looking for function in a kitchen. I went all out on this kitchen and was prepared to spend big on an addition, a huge vent hood, and a massive island. The extension cost a bit more than I had planned, 
as did adding a custom banquette, so I'm coming in slightly over budget. It was worth it though, because I have the ultimate big kitchen that will finally beat Jonathan. Why settle for only two or three or four chairs when you can have six, six. chairs at your incredibly large breakfast bar? I ran into a few budget roadblocks while building my kitchen with the support beam and having to order new trim and casings. I made up for some of the costs with smart decisions like losing the crown molding and finding small savings here and there, so I was able to stay on budget and create an amazing eco-friendly tech lover's kitchen that I know will make my kitchen really stand out to buyers. So, the big question. Which house wins the kitchen and dining room challenge? Okay, the winner of the kitchen and dining challenge is Hillside. Yeah! 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 Thank you! Yeah! Thank you! He doesn't lose kitchens, he's you the kitchen guys. king! Is the streak is broken? The streak, the has, streak broken. has broken! Sorry. I just, I'm just gonna come in here for a double hug. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. You know what, honestly, I think that what we need is Jonathan just to not talk for a minute <laughs> and let me soak in this winning moment I'm because winning. it feels so good to steal a win from in your house. You are kicked out yeah. of my house. My I reign guess. comes to an end. I thank right, you. This is what we're gonna do. Drew obviously is getting treated to a world-class meal. I'm gonna treat you guys to little fast food, anything <laughs> on the kids' you haven't under menu. Thank you All so right? much. Whatever you want. Oh, this feels right. so good. I'm not happy. I am oh, not happy. God. I'm interested to hear kind of what you guys like and don't like. I love that it's timeless white classic. Right. We hated the brick when we moved in. The shutters yeah. are getting dated and starting to fade. I feel like right now, like it is super cute, but it definitely just like blends in. Yeah. We could definitely change the look of this whole house just with some like minor things. Painting is gonna go a long way. Add some color to the garage doors. I think whitewashing the brick would be cute. Bring some wood accents, I think, might be fun, along with the white and black. Uh, maybe like a cute little pergola. A new landscaping will bring life to the whole picture. So this space is used, uh, it looks like a playroom. Yeah, it's technically a formal dining room, but it's just a bunch of toys. So do you think this space would ever be a dining room? If it was still kind of an option down the road, I think that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Challenge for us is obviously right when you come in our front door, this is the first room right. you see off to the right, but at the same time, we absolutely need it to be kind of a kid's play area, too. So I cool. love it. This looks so good. Yay! I love it. We painted the siding and the brick white. We went with a bold black right in the center. I thought that would accent that bump out really nicely. Yeah. And just the contrast of the white and black really is what makes it look more modern. It looks absolutely like a different house. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh! This looks like what? a completely new house. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, this is like cool. transformation, holy smoke. Yeah. Your playroom before was really just all about having toys yeah. everywhere. And since this is the first room you really see when you walk into right. your house, right. I wanted it to be able to represent you guys as well as work for your kids. Your fireplace just kind of blended in with everything else going on. So I took that as an opportunity to really do something that is gonna feel grand. I thought by bringing the stone all the way to the ceiling, and going at an angle with that shiplap on the side there was mm -hmm. just gonna elevate this room to make it feel bigger. Oh, it looks so much wider. It does. It does. Wow. And even though I'm the furniture guy, the furniture looks way better. Yes. It looks this place looks way say, better. I think your Absolutely. big couches really made this feel a lot smaller. It totally did. You can still get that same amount of seating and that same cozy feeling just by changing a little bit of that layout. I it's love the flooring. Amazing. Yes. I love the design.